Hello everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. If you guys saw our last video, we came out here and we hammered some fish on plastics. Now it's the same day, actually it's about 10 minutes after we just set down the camera. Guys, we're out here on the Fox River and tonight we are going to be doing some trolling. We are still out here with our buddy Austin in his Hello. boat. And uh, yeah, goal is to make a couple passes here tonight quick before we head home and catch some fish. Something we don't do a whole lot of here on the channel, but uh, you know, we always kind of experiment with it once or twice, I would say, each year that we come down here in the spring. And guys, they've been starting to hammer some big fish here, trolling late at night. And we are excited to get out here and do it for ourselves. So we're gonna help Boston get everything all set up here, give us a few minutes, and uh, yeah, next time you see us, we're gonna be setting some boards, hopefully hooking into some fish. Color hasn't really mattered much. We got a Husky Jerk 10 here, and we're in five to six feet of water. A little bit slow of a bite, so we're gonna try to get these things about a foot off bottom. It should only be about 25 feet of lead. Going really slow, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, barely getting them to wobble there in the water. And uh, hopefully we can catch a couple of them. Guys have been out here, anywhere from 20 to 30 fish a pass when they're on. So if we can get them to bite, it's gonna be fun. Wow, that didn't take long, huh? No. Two rods out? <laughs> we had, uh, yeah, about one and a half rods out, I'd say. <laughs> Definitely not something we do a lot, but uh, guys, this is one of the most effective ways to just hammer walleyes out here on the Fox. We're getting her close now. Go ahead and I'll bring that guy up. Good. Board comes off, and then it's just you and the fish. Go ahead. Oh, already a fish. Oh, coming up river a bit. Already the biggest fish. <laughs> First, literally two minutes in the water. Wow. Okay guys, so as I was saying, very effective. It's tough, I mean you come out here and you try to hammer fish all day. Like I said, our last video we were out here earlier today and we were catching them on plastics and now we're getting thicker fish. Look at that. There you go. Thank you sir. That is 100% uh, awesome on that one. I'm not even going to take uh, any credit on this fish. <laughs> Reeled it in, uh, but hey, quality fish. That's awesome to see. Again, a little bit uh, more pale colors to them, but wow, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> First start of the day. First fish, nice and chunky. Not huge, you know, not a giant by any means, but this is probably uh, just a little bit better than anything that we actually caught earlier today. Again, not giant, but very healthy fish. These fish are starting to come through, starting to swim up. Guys are starting to see results and uh, definitely starting to see some big fish coming through the area. So we're gonna get a real quick picture, get them back in the water. All right, well, one last look at them. Definitely got a little growth going on on this side. Kind of interesting, but nice fish nonetheless. We're gonna go ahead and throw them back. All sorts of revved up. Well, first rod went out, first fish in the boat. It's a good sign. Thanks, Austin, for getting everything all uh, set up for us here. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, you know, we're going through just kind of getting all the camera stuff all set up for uh, tonight's video here. And yeah, like I said, had two rods set up. One was completed. The other one was getting to the point where it was completed. Already had a fish on. That was awesome. So we'll see. Maybe they'll get bigger. Maybe we'll catch a bunch tonight. Hard to say, but definitely a good start. Well, we believe we have the second fish. Not doing anything crazy. Yeah. Boat flipper. A boat flipper. Woo! That's why we couldn't really tell what was going on there. We've had some hits, but a lot of them haven't, uh, they're like kind of just nipping at the back, it feels like, because you can see the board go back real quick and then shakes off. So they're biting light. 
but second one got to start somewhere not gonna waste too much time with this little guy get him back you never know what you're gonna get i mean obviously i would love to catch like a 27 incher every time i come to the fox river but they got to start small to get big first one was nice second one a little smaller but we're getting fish right there what the yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just saying, yeah, we're marking fish, getting fish. You want to take the uh, board off this one here? Sure. Let's see what we got going here. This one seems kind of feisty. A feisty one, he says, eh? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. We had it like two feet off the boat. Just trying to get it out of the way and <laughs> yeah. came up and smoked it. <laughs> I suppose you're probably needing that, huh? I hope I need a net. I hope it's bigger than the only one. It's not though. Well, no, another boat. I mean, I don't know. let's get this on cam because we might lose this. Oh, we're just boat flipping them now. Look at that. <laughs> just a beautiful pick. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this one out. That is our random right next to the boat board <laughs> fish. <laughs> I don't even know. We got kind of a mess going on here. That's two fish. We got to get some boards situated. But like I was going to say, I'm going to tell you guys, it's freaking cold out here. And uh, if you guys got cold hands when you're doing this night trolling bite, uh, get yourself some Tidewee gloves. Guys, these are heated. I got on, diff there's three different settings. Uh, I have it on low right now, but if I switch it, red, high, white, medium, and then blue is low. These are keeping my hands really warm. Uh, this is great for this application because once you get the board set, you know, you're just sitting here waiting. It could be five minutes. It could be literally 30 seconds, like what just happened there. Or you could be trolling for a good 45 minutes before you get a bite. So if you guys want to check out Tidewee, leave a link down in the description. But yeah, we got to reset some lines here. Fish are in the area. We just got to look for that right one. So hopefully not too long and we're going to get rehooked up. I think we got all of them. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Dang fish. Yeah, we literally have like multiple baits in that fish. That's oh, unbelievable. Okay, well, that's we'll something ahead. for the something for the fans at home, huh? Swing your back. What Take in the look. world? We caught that fish twice, guys. Look <laughs> at that. He's not even hooked on any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> and for it to be a dink like this? Yeah. What? Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. Alright, well, I'd like to figure out... <laughs> two, two of them there. All of our boards are messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead, turn my headlamp off here. Oh, well, you know, we had a little bit of a mess, and right when we figured out, you know, I think we got everything all situated, we created a little bit bigger mess. We were trying to get some of those other boards out of the way because it was the farthest outside one, and we just didn't quite get there quick enough, and unfortunately, we got ourselves a little tangle here. So, again, we're going to go through and uh, help Austin get all of these all situated, but... Uh, yeah, fish are popping. We uh, we actually went in just a little bit more shallow, nothing too crazy. We only moved like maybe a foot or two, but uh, yeah, we're running them pretty shallow here tonight. And uh, kind of a mixture of baits between the P10s, Husky Jerks, just kind of testing out what's gonna work best. So, so far we've gotten them on a, I guess both, a little bit of everything here so that far. That one literally both. Yeah, that one literally both. <laughs> that one literally was hooked on multiple baits, but uh, yeah, popped right out. Another nice fish. We're gonna see if they start getting a little bit bigger. I like this lemonade. Yeah, they do. Feel any better? Yeah, that fish feels a little bit better. Oh yeah. That's a better fish. Not a giant, but it's a better one. Ooh! <laughs> it's a little butterfly in that. Yeah. And it's off in the nut? Yep. Whew, that is that's nice. This is a lot of fun. This is very relaxing compared to the fishing that we get out here all the time. This is this is nice. Also, has got a good pass right now and uh, catching some fish. So I think the next one's gonna be either Austin's or Nick's. We just wanted to slide out of the way because we were getting close to another boat and they don't actually have any lights on next to us. So go ahead, get a release on them quick. Just like that, he's off. Oh, I don't know, yeah, 
has more weight. Not a boat flipper? Don't think so. Board comes off. Here we go. How'd he get over there? That's what I'm wondering. Whoa. Switch sides on you? <laughs> I thought he was out over there. Go ahead. Where are you? Ooh, there we go. All of them have pretty much just like been nipping it. All right, better one for me. Probably the biggest Fox River uh, walleye I've caught this year. It isn't even that big. It's probably like a low 20s, but fat female. Still early, so it's nice to see these uh, fish are already coming up in the river. Nice little fight. Fish are really active on this pass. I mean, we just had a hit over there, just caught that first one, and uh, yeah, now this one. So maybe grab a picture, just because it's the biggest of the year so far, and uh, dump her back. Okay. Well, just getting a release on this one. Do that quick over here. See ya. Got another one on the middle board over here. Hands are absolutely frozen. Gonna have to get the gloves on, but. I don't think it's still there. Fish are popping. Oh, popped off right away. Popped off? Yeah. Ooh, it's all right, we'll get another one, I think. But hey, we're doing good. Probably gonna be one of our last fish of the night. This is probably gonna be just a short pass, but uh, doing all right, eh? Yeah, doing all right. Fish are popping. We got a little bit to go still on this pass, so anything's possible. Which net do I need? Use the small one. I think the small one will be good enough. The small one. Rusty. Get the frable. Here last we are. Last fish of the night. Last pass. Last fish, most likely. That's one of these other boards pop right now. But I think Austin's gonna close us out here. And uh, yeah, had a heck of a night. Caught uh, multiple walleyes. There must have been a push of males. Look at how skinny this male is again. Oh yeah. Do you want her or are you just boat flipping her? Flipping. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. We definitely caught fish tonight. Husky jerks really seem to be the ticket. A I know. lot of males came. Yeah, a lot of males. A lot of males, but uh, most of our fish were on the old husky jerks. Kind of an assortment of colors. We ran quite a bit of like purple with a little bit of pink and sartreuse mixed in. But then we had a color. Uh, we had a couple that were what like green, silverish, orange. You had that one where it was like yeah, that one's like a not really perch, but like. Oh, just a very natural color so a little bit of everything not gonna say anything was like the ticket there wasn't really a color that stood out um, but and to be honest we had fish on boards we did not expect to catch fish on where we would reel them in get them out of the way you know just so we didn't snag lines which we did do a couple times it was a north wind very cold a lot of small male walleyes like this couple of them were milking just crazy to be out this early this year but to come out and start trolling already not a whole lot of people out here but uh we had a blast and huge thank you to austin for getting us out here in his boat we had a we had a good time so we're gonna go ahead help pack everything up and then we'll see you guys at the vehicle all right well you can tell i'm not standing in water we're on shore here next to the boat pretty fun night pretty fun day really if you guys haven't seen last video that was previously during the day of today and then uh, yeah we've capped off the night doing some night trolling nothing crazy big um it is super super early though so weren't really expecting every time you come down here you're expecting a big one but we knew it's a cold front and it's super early fish are just starting to dump into the river from the bay and uh yeah we still caught a ton of fish so super fun to get out here if you guys want to see more trolling videos let us know down in the comments we have buddies that do a lot of trolling uh, us personally really don't have the setup but if that's something you guys like seeing we can definitely do more of it if you guys like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys have any other questions for us leave it down in the comment section check out tide we anything heated and uh yeah that's really all we got it's late it's getting cold it's starting to snow we're supposed to get like six inches of snow so we're gonna dip on out of here before uh it all starts to come down but yeah again thanks guys for watching We'll catch you guys on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits.